Here's another G.I. Joe classified action figure review. Uh, this time we're looking at figure number 17. This is Storm Shadow from the Snake Eyes Origins movie. And first impressions, as always, we look to see if uh, these remind us of the classic iconic characters from the 1980s. They don't have to be identical to suit my taste, but uh, this one uh, checks off all the boxes on the list. Uh, white costume, well, off-white, check. Masked face, check. Samurai weapons, check. Who else could this be but Storm Shadow? Frankly, I feel like this one looks more like Storm Shadow than the uh, Arctic Mission Storm Shadow figure we've already had a look at. Uh, that I, that doesn't mean I think this is a better figure than the Arctic Mission Storm Shadow. Uh, this one has far fewer accessories. Uh, the articulation is fine on this one. However, I was compelled to uh, heat this figure up with a hairdryer in order to get a bunch of stuck joints moving on it. Uh, I feel like maybe this figure is made out of a different type of plastic than other G.I. Joe classified figures. And yeah, I had some frozen joints on this that I had to heat up in order to get moving. It's fine now, and this figure displays fine, stands up fine on its own. He does come with an extra head that you can uh, display him unmasked. A very taciturn individual there, wouldn't you agree? And I do, of course, prefer to display him with his hooded, because that's... We're not supposed to see Storm Shadow's face, just like we're not supposed to see Snake Eye's face, just like we're not supposed to see Boba Fett's face, and the Mandalorian's face, and so on and so on. Uh, the dark, mysterious figures are better left masked, in my opinion. I don't need to know their backstory, and their dreams, and their hopes, and their fears. <laughs> so, this character comes with two swords. Um, I'm not going to speculate whether these are katanas, or wakazashis, or one of each, uh, but... Uh, one does look a, one looks different than the other. That's that's as far as I'm willing to to take it. I'm not a weapons expert. Uh, I appreciate the paint applications, the silver blade, the, uh, uh, the the gold and black highlights here on the uh, uh, on the hilts. Not perfect paint application, but that's okay. I don't expect perfect paint application from uh, GI Joe classified figures. Um, I've grown to not expect that. It, at least they tried. That's basically the way I look at it. Um, this, this figure looks great beside the uh, Red Ninja, and beside the, the Ninja versions of Snake Eyes, and, uh, and any other figures from the, uh, G.I. Joe Classified series. It's the best representation we have so far of Storm Shadow in the, the toy line, and, but a better one is in the works. Uh, it's, it's in production now, and hopefully by the summertime, uh, we'll, we'll be able to, uh, review that one as well. He does have a backpack that allows him to store both his, uh, his bladed weapons down in here. Uh, no sheaths, uh, which is a little disappointing, but um, uh, that's not a deal breaker. Uh, I think this figure is fine. Again, it was a little tough to get moving when I received it. It's easy to find this figure below retail price. Uh, um, all of the uh, Snake Eyes Origins figures from the classified line are easy to find under retail price. Uh, they were peg warmers for whatever reason, and the scalpers weren't too interested in denying collectors from getting those at a good price. So you can still, at the time of this filming, you can still find this one very reasonably priced. Nothing wrong with this figure. Displays well, stands up well on his own without a stand. I do put them all on stands, though. And uh, he uh, displays well with his masked head as well as his unmasked head. So there you go, folks. It's the Snake Eyes Origins version of Storm Shadow. Now you know. And knowing is half the battle. See you soon.